World War II is one of the most studied conflicts in history. However, despite the abundant material that exists, there are still hundreds of facts unknown to the vast majority of people. Today, in this new episode of Military History, we will tell you the most curious facts about the Second War. Are you ready? Let's get started. 10. Currently, Nazism and Nazi are two common words in our vocabulary, referring to the followers of Hitler and used as a synonym for evil. However, when the Führer's political movement began to gain weight in Germany, the German population referred to it as National Socialism, and its members called themselves Nasos. The term Nazi was developed by the German journalist Konrad Haydn, who based this nickname on a Bavarian word meaning stupid. 9. Hitler tried by all means to destroy Great Britain, to such an extent that he ordered Operation Bernhard, a curious mission to sabotage the English economy. For this, thousands of fake British banknotes were printed, after a complex process to imitate them. It is estimated that between 130 and 300 million fake British pounds were made, made by slave laborers in a concentration camp. While the goal was to destabilize Britain's day-to-day -day commerce and create distrust of its currency, all of that money was ultimately used to buy weapons on the black market. 8. One of the great obsessions of Nazism was the purity of the Aryan race. The visual propaganda of the Third Reich was plagued with images of blonde men and women, with white complexions and statuesque bodies. In tune with these racist ideals, a campaign was launched in 1935 whose objective was to find the perfect Aryan baby, that is, a newborn who met the aesthetic criteria of National Socialism. Hundreds of photos were sent to the Ministry of Propaganda, and Joseph Goebbels himself was in charge of choosing the winner, a dark-haired girl. What the minister did not know was that the image corresponded to a Jewish baby. The photograph had been sent by Hans Ballen, one of Berlin's top photographers and anti-Nazi activist who claimed to want to have a little fun at the expense of his enemies. 7. When the war did not yet involve them, the U.S. Army's 45th Infantry Division was nonetheless one of the most striking military units of all. The reason why many were startled to see them was that, on their uniform, they sported nothing less than a swastika, the famous Nazi symbol. The troops of the 45th Division came from Arizona, Oklahoma, New Mexico and Colorado, some of the areas of the United States with the largest Native American presence. Due to their indigenous ancestry, the soldiers had chosen the swastika for their clothing, which was a symbol widely used by Native peoples since it was considered to bring good luck. In 1939, the 45th Division changed its insignia to an eagle, so as not to be confused with the Nazis. 6. In war, governments made sure that their troops were well supplied and that nothing essential was lacking. The Coca-Cola Company, to ensure that its product was considered part of the staple diet of Allied soldiers, offered to set up a plant in North Africa. In this way, he managed to get millions of soft drinks to the English, Americans and French in battle. At the same time, the company managed to improve the image of the brand, which became associated with the war effort against the Axis. 5. Hitler was a great admirer of Henry Ford, whom he praised for starting his career as a humble farmer and becoming the owner of the world's largest automobile company. In particular, the Führer highlighted the fact that Ford created a car that was economical, resistant and within the reach of the vast majority of the population. What is truly incredible is that the devotion was mutual, since Henry Ford was, in turn, a fervent admirer of Nazism. In 1920, the businessman had written an anti-Semitic book entitled The International Jew, and when the Nazis came to power, he became one of their main financial backers. In fact, he was in the habit of sending Hitler a gift on each of his birthdays. 
4. In World War II, the youngest soldier in the U.S. Armed Forces was Calvin Graham, who enlisted when he was just 12 years old. He joined the U.S. troops on August 15, 1942, after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor, and in order to be accepted he had to lie about his age. On the night of November 14th of that same year, Graham was embarking at sea on a mission aboard the USS South Dakota. Suddenly, his ship was attacked by the Japanese in what became known as the Battle of Guadalcanal. The boy was wounded by Japanese artillery, but he continued to help his comrades to get out of the enemy fire anyway. Graham was decorated for his valor, but when his mother learned his son was serving in the Navy, she revealed his age and had him removed from the service. 3. In the early days of World War II, the leaders of the Third Reich considered all kinds of strategies to destroy their enemies. Hundreds of plans and proposals for military operations passed through Hitler's desk, some of which were put into action, while many others were discarded. One of the suggested tactics to defeat Britain drew attention for its extravagance. The plan was to use the Colorado potato beetle, an insect native to Mexico known to plague potato crops, as a deadly weapon. To do this, they would release millions of this species on English agricultural fields to devastate their food source and jeopardize their economy. The reason this strategy was not implemented was that, to be successful, it would have been necessary to collect 40 million beetles, a cumbersome and impractical task. 2. Like every dictator, Hitler was obsessed with being adored by the German population. For this, he designed, together with the Ministry of Propaganda, a rigorous cult of his person, with images of the dictator distributed throughout the entire Third Reich. However, there were certain establishments that insisted on not showing the photographs of the Fuhrer. These were the Roman Catholic schools, which, for religious reasons, considered it sacrilege to place the image of the dictator, whom they were supposed to revere as if he possessed mystical qualities. Hitler went out of his way to persecute Catholics in Germany and, in time, turned his sights on the Vatican and the Pope. Despite the fact that he considered the possibility of occupying the headquarters of the Catholic Church, the idea was finally discarded, since there were more important objectives. 1. Throughout his life, Adolf Hitler had countless enemies, and one of them was his own nephew. Born in 1911 in England, William Patrick Hitler was the son of the Fuhrer's half-brother. In 1933, when he turned 22, young William traveled to Germany to meet with his uncle, who by then had taken control of the country. The boy tried to get a job within the Nazi bureaucratic apparatus, and it is rumored that, for this, he extorted the dictator by telling the press that there were Jews in his family. The blackmail did not work and William had to flee Germany. Years later, when the war broke out, he joined the U.S. Army where he served until he was discharged due to an injury. Subsequently, he changed his name to Patrick Stewart Houston and founded a medical company where he worked until his death in 1987. We have reached the end of the video and we want to ask you, what do you think is the most curious fact about World War II? Leave your answer in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to learn about many more military events that left their mark on history.